what's going on guys welcome to another video and for today's app sheet series uh it's actually based on a comment uh by uh one of the subscribers asking on the explanation regarding the differences between the types of charts that we have in app sheet so i was giving it the thought and i guess i haven't did really go into that uh, level to explain the differences between the charts so i'll start off with the aggregate pie chart that i think i personally love to use uh, aggregate pie chart uh, most of the time so basically aggregate pie chart is uh, ideal to display the proportional uh makeup of a data set so it's basically uh and qu a quick and easy way to for us to understand the distribution of categories within a data set but we also need to understand that uh, for this to suit best your data should not have a large number of categories that's number one because having a large uh, set of categories would end up uh, cluttering your pie chart. So then you can't really see the, the distribution of it. And of course, uh, having similar size categories would also be an unsuitable uh, sort of candidate for aggregated pie chart. But nevertheless, uh, let's have a look on a sample that I prepared for you. So let's check it out. All right, guys. So here's a table of sample data that would be suitable for an aggregate pie chart. So in this example, the data represents different categories of monthly expenses. A pie chart would show what proportion of the total monthly expenditure is spent on each category. So of course, this is making it easier to visualize the largest and smallest segments of your spending. So remember, the key to an effective pie chart is simplicity and clear categorization. All right, so let's head on to create the chart and see how it looks like. I'll just create a fresh application from the spreadsheet. So the app sheet chart app is ready. So of course, we will see the table here. So I'll just head on to create a new view here at views. And let's create a new view. And let's call this aggregate pie chart and of course the view type I'll go on to take the chart selection and in chart type I'll select aggregate pie chart so of course the column that I want to use is category all right and let's take the value Sorry, in category. My bad. So if I take the chart column to be category, which is where we will see the category here. And this is where the magic happens, which is the group aggregate. And I'll just take the sound the value. So you can see the rent is the highest one. And as compared to entertainment, the lowest one. So again, this is more or less what aggregate pie chart can do for you. So I hope you enjoyed the short explanation on aggregated pie chart. So at the end of the day, always remember too much detail or too many categories would end up making your chart to be uh, difficult to interpret. So having the right set of data, the right set of uh, distribution would make the aggregated pie chart useful so on to the next video so i guess i'll see you in the next one
uh, we'll discover more on types of charts that we have in AppSheet and what sort of data would be uh, useful or best fit for the case. So, see you. Take care. Bye-bye.